Hello everyone and welcome back to this new video for the Python tutorial that will connect to the microcontroller and have a nice display of the data. So in today's video we are going to create a color filter which will filter the color of the plot based on the value. So we put it a limit here of 2000 and you will see as soon as well I will be increasing the value and will be upper than the limit the chart color will change so we will have a different color based on the value and as soon even if it's extremely fast like this so let me really be a bit aggressive in my so you we will keep having this filtering and that will be working quite well okay so also we will see together really examples how to create this filtering um, out of the user interface so we can understand how to make that and after that we will be uh, applying it to the user interface so if you'd like to learn how to apply a color filtering to a chart and then adding it to um, a Python GUI this is the right video this video will be focusing on applying a color filter to the chart display which will depend on the value that we will have and within the whole tutorial, this, this is a video number 12, where we are going to add a new method to our class for data management to have us another option for visualization. As usual, the code is available on GitHub. You can download it and follow up with this video. And also the programming language is only Python. The text editor will be VS Code. Finally, um, this video will can be seen by both people who have reviewed all the tutorial and who, who want to learn how to put a filter because we will start to have a, an example how to create it out of the user interface so we can understand and grasp the logic of making this for two color or more. So from hardware perspective, we do have um, the MCU, the STM32F1 based uh, board, which is the AKA blue pill that will generate the signal. And we are going to use an FTTI to interface the UART a message with a PC. Finally, we are going to use a potentiometer or variable resistance to play a little bit with the signal. So from the tutorial perspective, we are going to have an example for graph color filtering. So we'll have a simple graph and then see how we can apply a different color based on the values. And after that, we will add the color filter to the data stream display. Then finally, we will have a, um, a display and review uh, directly on the, our user interface. Okay, so let's jump to the code and take a look to an example to understand how to apply a color filter for the graph. To start the examples, we do have three files. The first one is a really simple plot. The second one will be a plot with a two color filter, where the third one is a multicolor filter, and I will show you the complication that we go for, but that should not be that complicated. So let's go quickly through the first graph. This is just a very simple example where we are going to use NumPy to generate a simple graph with them. Um, with a certain uh, curves, so let's run this one. So I'll go for a Python, and then like we call it, I call it just simple graph, and that will generate this graph, a simple one. So you can see it goes from one to nine, and it has these curves going here and there. Okay, so that's simple. We just put the plot of the x new, y new, and the c is just a blue. We would like the color to be blue, and we have a show. Okay, so let's use the same logic, the same data here, and we start applying. We would like to apply colors based on a certain value or a certain limit for y. Okay, so what we can do, so first of all, this is the same graph, and we are putting the limit is 100. So if the value is more than 100, we would like that it become red and it can be green. No. So what we are going to create, we are going to create an array. It can be also a list. So, but uh, an array is more like easier to, to use within this one. So it's an, uh, originally here, it's a list created. So how this red, so it will be R, the color R. So we are creating the color R here if y is greater than the limit else it will be green for y in y new so let's let's just start here and like 
okay let me put everything in as a comment and let's print um, the what is the y new so print y new just to see what value it will be so python and let's put uh, the second one plot here yeah, two colors and this is the y new that we do have so this is all the value that we do have in this uh, filter so we created a lot of one and what we are going to check on this one let me go back again and filter so what we do have what we would like to create is a list here saying that if the value is less than the limit so if it's less than the limit it will be green else sorry yeah so if it's r if y is greater so if y which is one of the value of y new is greater than limit then it will be red else it will be green so it will generate an array of the same size than the y and the x the y new array that will have r or green so after that we will go through a loop through all the color master which is this list and we are going to check one by one here so we will take the color zero so which we which is the r this one and the start segment here so we start at zero and we are going to run through all of them one by one and check if this index and the next index of the color master are the same and using this one we are going to check so if they are the same we just keep moving on else what we are going to do is to take that segment where all the element all the um all the one all the index are are the same color and we are going to print it and then at the end if we finish the whole thing so if we arrive at the end of this segment or the list we are going to print it so let's take a look to the result now let's go here and run again the code to see what will go ah i didn't save let's get to the comment and this is the graph that we do have as far as a value is higher than 100 the color become red so you can see we printed the segment there is a small really small red dot here so let me you see just when we got to the 100 and then we got back again to let's uh, how to zoom back yeah so we got back to the green color and how this is printed so the program has been checking all the segment it was in green so it put it inside here so let me show you the code so as far as the code is uh, equal so the index are equal to themselves from value perspective that's fine else we are going to print them then we check again if that's the last segment we just put the whole remaining data and we put a break so we can have everything printed I hope this is clear for you it's quite simple so first of all we generate this color master which is most important and you can see it's just one line which is wonderful and i'm sure this can be a little bit optimized but it's a loop of where you build your um you build based on the color difference okay so now let's go to a multi-color where things are more complicated here so as usual this is the same um code to make the graph but now this is how we build the color master the color master is built based on the condition if my element in the y new is less than 20 i will put y if the element is less than 60 i will put b so y for yellow b for blue and if it's between 60 and 100 it's cyan and if it's like for all the rest is so it's greater than 100 it will be red then it will be exactly the same logic we don't need really to put this print we don't need them all this thing are just just nope yeah, we don't need this print this is just for comment for myself okay and after that we don't need also this print 
I'm just printing the segment, just use them for debugging purposes. So let's go and run and see how things will go. Let me close this graph and I will be running not this color filter but it will be the multicolor and you will see here how the values or the colors will be working. So as far as I move the color will change based on the condition I have put it here. So there is two core steps. The first one is to build um, a list that will have the color codes that you would like to have based on the Y value. After that, you will have to build the plot step by step based on the color values index and comparing the values one by one and putting the segments. Okay, I hope this explanation was clear for you guys. So now we can jump in the next part to uh, adding this same code to the uh, user and to the class for the data. So we are back to our class for Data Master and we are going to update this class and I will explain to you uh, what changes I applied to get the data, uh, the, the visualization in our graph. So first of all, as usual, I have added this new method here for the dictionary color filter, which is solar self color filter. And then I added the method itself, the color filter, and it's exactly the same code. So we set up a limit and then we pass the GUI.Y, which is the Y data we would like to display, and also the X data. So for this one, GUI.X is the one needed here and GUI.chart will be chart and this is to make the code uh, less heavier in the next step. After that we build the color master which is as we have seen in if we would like to have a, a two color filter and also build the limit because I would like also to plot the limit on my graph. Then we are what we are, have been doing is plotting the limit itself so adding it to my graph. After that we started using the code that will start building all the um, the plots based on the color that we do have and the index as we have seen in the previous example. At the end I added chart set y limit which is between 0 and 4096 which is the maximum limit of my um, ADC in the STM32 F4, F1 actually. Uh, okay so we do have everything we can jump then to the um, part to visualize the result of our code. Okay, so we do have our microcontroller ready and also we are going to start the communication. So let's visualize channel zero up to you and we put the color filter and this is that we would like to visualize and we can start here visualizing. So you can see that I'm a little bit higher than the um, the limit that I fixed in my program. So you feel free to change it. And you see the magic that the color of the signal changes based on that. So you can also add the other uh, the other channels. So putting this one and color display. So you can put this one and play with that. See how the channel change. Of course you can also play with the colors um, based on the channels that will be up to you. How you can really modify the program. I put the basic one so you can guys play with it and enjoy how to work with a user interface and a filter color. Okay, hope you enjoyed this um, tutorial. Uh, I try to make it as simple as possible and see you for the next one where we are going to save all this data.